Welcome to today's Research Business Daily Report. Well, we've got for you a potpourri of news items that are not only of interest, but I think in many cases instructional. We'll examine Microsoft's latest predictive technology acquisition. Then an amazing revelation of a huge element that big data has been failing to account for, and I think you'll be surprised. And Forbes has a guarantee or your money back if you use their content marketing. RBDR is sponsored today and this week by Q Oasis, a self-service marketing research solution for research professionals. It is new and the only platform that will deliver industrial strength, easy to use, unrestricted survey building blocks, all for free. And it is powered by the 22-year industry expertise of Socratic Technologies. More about how it will help and what it can do to help in just a few moments. Microsoft bought London-based tech company SwiftKey for what cl some claim is $250 million. What is SwiftKey? It's a smartphone keyboard app, but Venkat Ananth of the Mint says Microsoft was most attracted to it by its artificial intelligence capabilities. One specific SwiftKey capability is predictive technology that learns from each user's personal writing style in their previous text, chats, and social media interactions. In fact, it then goes on to predict the next word or the next phrase that each user intends to type. On Media Post, Mario Carrasco, who is the co-founder and managing partner of culturally integrated research agency Think Now, wrote a scintillating blog that says Big Data's biggest issue in 2016 is going to be diversity. Quoting Mario, if we were to hone in on the single most important big data point, it would be credit card transactions, which Carrasco went on to explain seems to some market researchers and marketers as the holy grail because it captures what people are buying and where. But logically, all that abundance from that data source is proof positive that if that's all you're looking at for transactions, clearly you are overlooking the large piece of the puzzle that comprises the second largest number of retailer transactions. Can you figure out what that is? Yes, it's transactions made using cash. An estimated 26.3% of transactions made using cash are not being reflected in big data, according to Carrasco. As a matter of fact, households that take home less than $25,000 annually use cash for a wider variety of purchases than other consumers who tend to earn more. And statistically, Carrasco says, consumers making under $25,000 make an average 5.1 cash transactions each month. That compares with 3.2 transactions using cash each month by those who make over $25,000. And that works out to 25% of the transactions of families who take home less than $25,000 buying with cash. And it also excludes, according to Carrasco, and this is the big diversity point, gigantic numbers of transactions involving Hispanics and African Americans who are also big cash purchasers. Finally, if content marketing fits your style, Forbes Brand Voice is definitely worth your consideration, especially if you look at the Forbes Brand Voice Guarantee which says that marketers who spend with Forbes at least $150,000 for display advertising and combine that with at least $100,000 for seven brand voice stories on Forbes.com over 60 days will receive an increase in brand lift. And if they don't, they get their money back. Forbes Media VP Advertising Products and Strategy Ann Marinovich says a 2013 study revealed the most effective combination if you want to drive brand lift is branded content in combination with display advertising. Each eligible marketer with Forbes will receive a third-party researcher study that evaluates their campaign using metrics like brand awareness, brand favorability, message association, and purchase intent.
That's your Research Business Daily Report. We've been sponsored by Q Oasis, a self-service marketing research solution for research professionals. It's not only new, but it is the only platform that delivers industrial strength, easy to use, unrestricted survey building blocks and all for free. And it is powered by 22-year industry expert Socratic Technologies. QOasis automatically optimizes for desktop, tablet, or mobile devices. Very, very important in this day and age. It supports complex logic control delivers seamless integration and immediate access to dashboard quality results. You can even add gamified functionality as well as drag and drop card sorts. And for users who need analytic components, and many of you do, if segmentation is on your demand list or configurator analysis, MaxDiff or other advanced multivariate procedures, well, the seasoned data professionals at Socratic Technologies are available to help you get that done. Check out QOasis.com at the URL that you see on the screen to my right. It is also in our email to our subscribers and it's in the description box underneath today's video. Have a great research day, and here's hoping that this has been a good research business week for you. Enjoy your weekend, and of course, join us back here on Monday.